I just recorded like I felt like I recorded like a five minute video five six minute video and then I looked and it wasn't recording at all like whatsoever <laughs> so hey what's up you guys Vananda here um I feel ridiculous for just talking and not realizing that I didn't start the video recording and I just talked for like ever and yeah but oh, sorry I had to yawn I'm sleepy I didn't get much sleep last night I couldn't sleep um okay we're on day 18 whoop, whoop. um getting so close to the end um so day 18 says any kinky BDSM pet peeves if so what are they um like I was saying before I figured out, is one of my sort of biggest pet peeves, which I don't know if this really counts in the question, but it is about BDSM. Is It's one of my, like, biggest pet peeves of all times, and it doesn't even have to be BDSM related. It's like, if you say you're into something, please actually be into it. Or, like, because it is also i'm gonna like use a music term real fast and then so people that aren't like so people will actually sort of understand what i'm talking about if you say you love a band and you've loved this band for like ever don't just like know one of their songs and then just be like oh yeah i love this band it's my favorite band ever i've heard all their songs but you only listen to one song and you say you're in love with this band like you were all the merchandise everything that's one thing that really irritates me. And if we go on the BDSM side, someone that says that they're in, into BDSM and they practice BDSM, but then you ask them a question about any part of BDSM that they like and they can't tell you anything about it, then that's what, that's what kind of angers me, is when people know absolutely nothing about what they're into. If you're not up to doing research about something and you're saying you're in the BDSM community and you haven't done any research, you haven't done anything for, like, any part of your relationship into BDSM, like, you, maybe, maybe you type your girlfriend once in a while, like, during sex and you consider being in the BDSM community or you've watched Fifty Shades of Grey like three times and you're like yeah I know how to do all that like that's easy but you don't devote yourself and put any research into it you don't um like even if you go and talk to other people that have been in the BDSM community and you learn things and you're actually trying to learn stuff then it's okay and bro I don't care but I I just that's one thing that irritates me is when people say they're in the BDSM community but they know absolutely nothing about anything in the BDSM community. They don't research. They don't do anything. That's just one of my biggest pet peeves in the BDSM community. Another biggest big pet peeve that kind of has to go along with that is when people say anything negative about people that are into DDLG or age play or uh, ABDL. And if you don't know what ABDL is, it's adult baby diaper lover. I sometimes have to explain that to people because they don't know what that means. Because they're not into that scene, so they don't know. Um, but people that are into that subculture, like I am, and which I don't really do DDLG anymore. Well, I do. I wish I would, but I'm not doing it as right now. Because the person I'm with does not is not very into that. So, what can you do? life sucks. Well, it's not really sucky. I don't know. Just, I'm gonna go back into this before I get myself in trouble. Um, so, people that have, don't know anything about DDLG, or I'm gonna just say DDLG when I'm meaning all those, all those in the little thingy, um, and they call people in that subculture pedophiles, um, other mean names just because of what they're into and they treat them horribly bad because of just what we're not half the time not even sexually interested in because most of all of us do not sexualize it and some I know do and I can't do anything about it I apologize I if I could 
I don't think it should be sexualized, but it's it's their life. I can't do anything. But most all of us don't sexualize it. We are not going out and hurting children. We are consenting adults, which really irritates me is because we're all consenting adults. We're all consenting to this. Um, there's nothing dirty going on. We're just regressing into a childlike state and playing with toys and drinking out of sippy cups and using binkies. Like, I don't, I don't see the issue here. Like, I don't have sex with my partner and call him daddy or any of that. Um, I know some do, and I know there are some people out there that actually do that, but that's not me. And I hate it when people have called me that just because of what other people do. And I don't think that's even pedophilia because it's not a child. They might be acting as a child or regressing as a child, but they're not a child. And I know there are children out there that are practicing DDLG, and I can't do anything about that either. Um, But that's just one thing that really irritates me. If you don't know anything about that community or that subculture or that anything please don't hate on them because you don't know they could be regressing because of trauma that caused them as a child that they couldn't they couldn't be a child like me the reason I regress is because I want that childhood back that I didn't get and probably never would get back if it wasn't for this this is my sort of therapy I do go to regular therapy but that's more for different things than what's what's going on. Like, that helps me regress, helps me be happy and be myself where I can dress and be who I want to be and don't have to deal with the hate and the adulthood that I'm forced to be because I don't want to be an adult. No one wants to truly be an adult. We all wish we could be kids forever and not have to work and not have to do anything and if people that hated the DDLG community could see like how much it helps and actually like maybe do research about it they would know how amazing and how awesome and how good it is for us to regress into this childlike state so um yeah that's all I have to say on that question and this one was longer than my other ones but yeah I love you guys hope you guys are having an amazing day hope you guys are having an amazing every day I'm gonna do another one after this but it probably might be my last I might do another one but I'm not sure but I love you guys so much and yeah